On today's supercomputer screens, viruses look like ornaments from a Martian Christmas tree. This is the AIDS virus. Its core contains the genetic information necessary for the virus to duplicate itself. It's a package of nucleic acid, of genetic material, enveloped in a set of proteins that allow this virus to utilize a cell for its own replication, because it cannot function independently, it cannot multiply independently. The genes are protected by a thin shell. The shell is studded with molecules that enable it to dock with the target cell and work its way inside. There are certain receptor mechanisms, they come together, they, atta they attach, they don't attack, they attach, they're incorporated, and they use the cellular mechanism for its own multiplication. It acts as a parasite. It uses these organized systems for its own survival. The target cell doesn't have to be human or even animal. The tulip break virus has been used since the 16th century to cause color variation in ornamental tulips. Nothing is too small for a virus. So, naturalists observe a flea. And smaller fleas that on him prey. And these have smaller fleas to bite them. And so proceed at infinitum, infinitum, infinitum. Yup, even germs can get germs. An example, the T4 bacteriophage, a virus that attacks bacteria. It lands, hooks on, and pushes its DNA through the cell membrane. Once inside, the viral DNA hijacks the cell and forces it to make more viruses. Within minutes, the swollen cell explodes, releasing hundreds of new viruses to infect other cells. <laughs>